It's been nothing new for the boys on the bus or the dynasty team of the 1980s for the Edmonton Oilers to get together. As I'm joined by Mark Spector, generally getting together for joyous occasions like uh, the closing of Rexall Place, a place with so many great memories, or the reunion at 30 years for winning their first Stanley Cup. Uh, Mark, today a different reason as they said goodbye to David John Semenko. How did you feel like uh, his former teammates and coaches kind of handled saying goodbye to a big tough guy like him? It was really a, a stark contrast, wasn't it, Gene? When, when all the guys have got together here in Edmonton, Glenn Sather, the patriarch, and Mess and Andy and Gretz and all the boys, it's always been to celebrate. This time it was a celebration of life, and it's the first time from that old group that everyone's come together for something like that and I spoke to Mark Messi afterwards and he said you know I, I said there must have been a different dynamic he said you know I think we all sat there today and we thought about our mortality and we thought that you know this this is something that was going to happen we just never thought that it would well Wayne Gretzky's bodyguard I think would be the best way to describe the uh, most famous role that Dave Semenko played while in the NHL but uh, born in Winnipeg and uh, a kid who loved the game of hockey how nice was it to hear from family and friends about uh, Dave Semenko the person and not just the player well that's it and, and those of us around the team and especially in Dave's retirement years when he worked for the team and we got to sit and have dinner with them and really get to know Dave there is so much more to David Semenko than the guy out on the ice that would fight and, and fight Tim Hunter and do all those things. He was a very funny man. He was, he was by nature a selfless guy. Think about the role of heavyweight, Gene. That player, Dave Semenko, very seldom settled a score of his own. He was settling everyone else's score. He was a selfless guy that everyone liked, and they say that at every funeral, but I'm going to say this. They don't do this for every player that passes on. Dave Semenko was truly loved by the organization and by the city, and I knew him personally a real real good guy and he's going to be missed for sure yeah and one of those uh gentlemen who as much as he loved the people the people loved him yeah. right back and that was evident at rogers place for mark Spector, i'm gene principe for sportsnet in edmonton